Hi Year 13, this is some information about clearing that you might need over the next few months. If you're considering clearing or not really sure what clearing is, then have a listen to this PowerPoint and it will give you some more information. So clearing itself can be used if you are applying after the 30th of June. So if you weren't sure that you wanted to go to university, you can still do that. Obviously, your options are narrower than they would have been if you'd applied in the October November cohort, but it's still possible to apply. So if your plans have changed or you're thinking that your career might be different, then you can still apply. You can also use it if you didn't receive any offers or none that you wanted to accept previously. You can also use it if you didn't meet the conditions of your offers. So if they gave you high targets and you feel like you weren't going to meet those, then you can still apply for, through clearing. You can use clearing if you have already declined your firm place using the de decline my place button in track. So if you've decided that the university place that you were given you didn't want, you've already declined, you can reapply through clearing. You can also use this if you've changed your mind. So if you're thinking at the moment that you've applied for something and you actually don't really want to do that, or you don't want to travel as far because of changing circumstances, or you want to travel further because of changing circumstances, then there's still time to decline your firm offer and to resubmit through clearing. So how to do it? Obviously all on the UCAS website. If you haven't already registered on the UCAS website because you didn't submit an application, you can still do that. It's quite a simple process. You just put in your personal details. So use the search tool to find available courses. This is a live tool. So this will be um, a live audit of the courses that are available and spaces that are available. So it's up to date. Keep checking it all the time. If there's nothing on there that you want right now, there might be something on there in a few weeks, for example. Check the courses thoroughly to see how they meet your requirements. So have a look at the university that you're interested in. Have a look at the course details. How is it structured? What kind of assessment is there? How are they dealing with teaching online or teaching face to face? What are the hours? What's the expectation? So make sure you still thoroughly look at it. Even though you're going through clearing, this is a massive decision to make because this will be three years of your life potentially. So before adding a choice to your clearing list, you will need to speak to the university that you are interested in to find out specific information about accommodation, etc., and to receive an informal offer. So this is where it's slightly different to the application process in the winter because you will need to speak to the university. You need to find out if, based on your target grades, you are likely to be accepted onto the course or whether there are any conditions for the course acceptance. This also gives you an opportunity to find out if there's any accommodation left or what kind of accommodation is left um, and anything else that you want to know about parking, that kind of thing, um, materials that you need to get ready, anybody you need to speak to. And then the informal offer is a yes or a no. We, we would be potentially interested in you. Once you're happy with that course, you need to add a clearing choice into the track part of the UCAS website. You can only add one choice at a time. So again, this is different to the application process in the winter where you can choose three. This time you can only add one and that choice assumes that you are a firm candidate. So by putting that choice in, you are saying, yes, if you accept me, I'm coming to university. The only time you can change that is if another choice um, can be added if the university declines your application. So if actually they say no with what you're expected to achieve, or if we don't have enough spaces now because things have changed, then they will decline your application and then you just go through the process again and find something else, okay? So remember, clearing runs from the 6th of July until the 20th of October, so you have loads of time to think about what you want to do. Obviously, that comes with the advice that there will be more spaces available within the next couple of months rather than towards October time, but, it's good to know that there are always options if you're changing your mind. Everything you need can be found on UCAS.com. So there are loads of helpful guides. There are loads of frequently asked questions. It's really straightforward. It's really easy to use. So just go onto there and it'll be very straightforward. They have set up a wellbeing site for 
people who are going through clearing because it can be quite a stressful process because it can take a long time and there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding it so the website listed there is specific advice for clearing and how to cope with your well-being during that time and finally your tutors and I are here to support you with whatever you need so any questions you have please feel free to email any of us and we will get back to you as soon as we can with support best of luck <laughs>